A POLICE ARE INVESTIGATING ANOTHER CASE, uh, WHETHER A SERIAL KILLER COULD BE ON THE LOOSE IN THE PACIFIC NORTHWEST. AUTHORITIES IN OREGON AND WASHINGTON ARE LOOKING INTO THE SUSPICIOUS DEATHS OF MULTIPLE WOMEN FOUND ACROSS THE PORTLAND AREA IN THE LAST SEVERAL MONTHS. Now, THESE WOMEN WERE ALL DISCOVERED IN RURAL WOODED AREAS. RIGHT NOW, INVESTIGATORS ARE STILL UNCLEAR IF THE CASES ARE LINKED. Uh, NICK IS HERE WITH MORE ON THAT. Nick. AND INVESTIGATORS ARE WORKING, ADRIAN, TO SEE IF THEY ARE CONNECTED EVERY ANGLE OF THE CASE OF THE SIX WOMEN FOUND DEAD ACROSS OREGON AND WASHINGTON IN THE RECENT MONTHS. Now, while most of these women have been identified, authorities have only been able to determine the cause and manner of death in only one case. The first woman, Kristen Smith, was found in February. The latest, Ashley Real, on May 7th. In between, the bodies of four other women were found. Joanna Speaks, Charity Perry, Bridget Webster, and an unidentified woman, or Jane Doe. That Jane Doe is described by investigators as being of possibly Native or Alaskan Native descent between the ages of 25 and 40 years old. Authorities say Jane Doe has two large scars on her lower left leg and two tattoos seen here. A black music note with the letter V on the left side of her upper chest and a Buddha tattoo on her right shoulder blade. They were all found in wooded areas within 55 miles of downtown Portland and within 100 miles of each other. Two of the women were discovered in Portland two in two rural Oregon areas, and one in an Oregon State Park along the Columbia River, and one in Washington State. Now, to date, Speaks is the only victim whose cause and manner of death has been determined, which was blunt force trauma to the head and neck. Speaks' is family haunted by her death, which is still being investigated as a homicide. Her sense of humor is going to be probably missed the most. Definitely. She was... So full of life. She wouldn't have just let something happen. No. She would have fought back. While law enforcement doesn't currently suspect foul play in Jane Doe's death, there's not enough evidence to rule out the possibility that some, if not all, of these cases are linked. It's definitely something they're looking at. Um, you know, they're aware that there's, there seems to be some similarities there, but it's too soon for them to say that there's you know, anything directly linked between these. No, Sergeant Skidmore talked about those similarities. Investigators are looking to the public for help and are asking for tips on any suspicious activity anyone may have seen in the Portland area from the end of March until the start of May. Now, authorities are also asking anyone who was in contact with Ashley Real, the victim found most recently this year, to please come forward. Adrian. All right, thank you very much, Nick. Uh, new thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.